So starting on the left here, we have the HMI, the Human Machine Interface. It's like a touch screen that we can use to do things like start and stop motors or uh, measure things in our process. So we'd see this on the screen and be able to program this to interface with our process. Uh, and students would learn how to program and use those in the program. Uh, Next, we have the PLC or Programmable Logic Controller. This has been stripped down for students to actually program up later on. Uh, but what this is, is an industrial uh, computer, basically. The PLC is Programmable Logic Controller, industrial computer. And they use this to interface with all the industrial devices. So sensors and valves and pumps are all going to be controlled off of this. And students learn how to wire it and program it. Um, over here we have our motor control panel, so the students would learn how to wire and unwire this. Um, you have a variable frequency drive, a VFD, that allows us to change the speed of a pump. And we also have a line starter, which is basically a, a, a device that allows us to switch a pump on or off. So students would learn how those work and how to wire those up. Then over here we have our instrumentation. This is where really we focus on in the fourth semester of the program. Each of these blue devices is a transmitter. They're all measuring some parameter in the process. This one, for example, is pressure. It's measuring, it's using pressure to measure the, how full the tank is. This one's a flow transmitter, so it's measuring how much fluid's moving through the pipe. We have a control valve to use to throttle the fluid flow rate. So we would, uh, in a plant, a typical plant, maybe we're controlling, I don't know, a pasteurizing milk. We might have a temperature sensor that's measuring how hot the milk is. Um, so this would be an example like that temperature sensor. And then that's feed into a controller that would turn on and off a heater, or maybe open a valve like this to throttle steam. So in the lab, we try to simulate those sort of processes using this type of equipment. 